guys. So I just wanted to make a quick little video on this Harbor Great 212 Predator. So I got everything <laughs> finished, mounted up. You know, I changed out my piston because the piston that was in here before was seized up. Finished. I got all of my top end stuff on. I got my exhaust. You know, I have my throttle set up, my air intake, all of that good stuff. And, you know, when I ran it, it had a, a rod knock. But before it had a rod knock, it didn't have compression. Uh, that's because the valves needed to be adjusted. So we could talk about that too. So if you changed out your piston and did a little bit maneuvering around, you could have potentially knocked your valves out of spec. Or if this is an engine that you don't know anything about, it could be out of spec with your with your valve clearance. So adjust your valves accordingly to your engine. On uh, in most instances, on a 212 9 Hemi, it's going to be three and three, or two and three, or three and four. You can set them both to 0 0.003, and you'll be fine just like that. So make sure you're getting your valves adjusted like they should, and you should have adequate compression if you adjust your valves and you still don't have the compression then you might need to look into into your piston to see if you know that's the issue but let's get straight to it so i got everything set up got my compression got my piston changed out got everything nice and clean again got my valve set and when i ran it it had a knock so initially i came back just make sure my you know rods weren't bent or anything like that or Anything wasn't bent causing that issue. I made sure my spring release was releasing as it should. You made sure it was coming in contact with the tappets as it should. Everything looked good, but I put up a video of me spinning the engine over with everything intact and finding out where my knock was. And my knock was coming from the rod arm where it connected to the crank. And it had a lot of play in it and in most instances, that's going to be your issue. It's going to be, going to be your rod or it's probably going to be your crank. It's not a lot of other things that would make it pretty much not like that, like, like that one did. And that's because it had excessive play inside of the crank where it connected to the rod. And let me go pick this. If I can make it bring you guys over here. Again, I had everything set up and I had a rod knock. So I had to take it apart and find out where exactly that knock was coming from. So I got everything taken apart and my crank is good. It wasn't, you know, didn't have no grooves in there or anything like that. Um, Cause I didn't run the engine long with the rod knock. This is the rod that was in there. And as you can see, that one has 10 on it. I'm not sure if that correlates to the size or not, but this one has a five on it. This is the original one that was in there on a bad piston. So when I put this one on there, there's a, a lot of play when it's attached to the crank. But when you put this one on there, it's really tight and there's really no play. So obviously the crank arm was the issue. Sorry, the riot arm was the issue. So I'm going to put that back on there and we'll see if my ride knock or my knock is gone. Again, I tested everything out tore it all down and now i'm about to put it all back together and guys if you want you know <laughs> these engines that run perfectly or run as they should then don't be scared to you know you put it you assembled it all together and then you got to take it back apart that's just part of the game so be diligent in your diagnostic procedure and don't be scared to get into you know the crank if it's the crank you don't have to do much. You can get a whole kit. You can get the crank. You can get the rod, the piston, everything, and just rebuild. If you don't feel like doing all the diagnostic stuff, again, this was easy for me. I didn't have to take the piston out the top. I just lowered it down to where the skirt was, and I pulled everything off. Just make sure you don't pull it too far past. Just make sure you don't pull it down past the rings because then, you know, you had to take it out and put it back in through the top. And that's a fun procedure. I got a procedure on how you do that efficiently and quick. And I'll just give you a little brief here. What you need to do is hit it in the center and hit it 
hard, but not too hard. You don't want to bend the rings, but you want to hit it in the center. You want to give it a pretty good whack in the center of it and make sure everything gets down to the head of the engine, you know, so that the rings can't catch. But if you give it that one good whack right in the center, it should go down into the into the block. But again, so I'm just going to install my old rod and we should be good. I just wanted to put this out there for you guys if you're, you know, scratching your head and not getting at the main issue. If you have a knock, it's most likely the ride and crank. So don't be scared to, to get into that. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Chase until I make it. Drowning liquor, no vacation. Part of a pack that was destined for me.